Good afternoon. It's been a minute since I've been on. How are you doing? Happy Tuesday. Let me know how you're doing. So I wanted to hop on here because as you can tell by the title, we are going to be having a sporadic just because it is the first time. It's just dawned on me today that we need to have this challenge so that we can start to normalize emotional self-regulation and non-dualism consciousness. So I am going to have a few more challenges, of course, throughout this just, I guess, first and second quarter. And then I want most of you to sort of join in on the challenge. I'm not sure if I want to make this private at any point. I just want to give this as value. And if this is a value to you, you will know because you will start to feel shifted within. And it's really something that you can, again, like take forever with you because it is just the way that you want to start to materialize desire for those of you who are just coming on my name is tanika i am a mindset self self-concept i like to say self-concept first mindset and manifestation coach that likes to teach the law of assumption and non-dualism consciousness principles so i am going to do this challenge starting tomorrow i know it's sporadic but it just dawned on me and it's it's still dawning on me and i'm like okay tanika you need to put this out because there are people who are ready for this right so if you are someone who is working through your emotional self-regulation and you want to get really let's say fine-tuned and anchored into your emotional self-regulation this is the perfect opportunity for you to join in on this challenge so it'll officially start tomorrow so it's not going to start right now but it'll officially start tomorrow <clears throat> and what i'll be talking about is is like slowing down and really tapping into the version of you that is one with your desire right so we're talking about non-dualism consciousness and knowing that you are one with source that you are source and so when you are finding or not finding but when you are sensing this urge of resistance or you are sensing this urge of of limitation or stuckness or however it's feeling in your body you want to be able to learn how to release that and i feel like the best way to release any sort of limitation any sort of resistance is by a series of breath work so tomorrow we will we will be talking about breath work we will be talking about meditations we'll be talking about the ones that have worked best for me and one specific one that has worked the best for me like the complete best and and by best i mean by way of once i tap into this version of self there's no turning back and it is it is done in a seamless harmless and effortless way because of the way that the i am um, the matter like the manifestation but the way that the um the meditation is designed so if you are just coming in and you are not aware of the law of assumption principles or non-dualism consciousness this is perfect for you because if you are curious and you just want to learn more about what it's all meaning of course you could do your own research but here um you know on this platform on my page i will be talking more about just um you know the the multiple ways of how you can tap into this non-dualism consciousness um through a way of breath work so what i mentioned is that we're going to be doing breath work tomorrow um on wednesday we're going to be wor working on awareness and then on thursday wait so tomorrow is wednesday because let me get my days right and tomorrow we will be working on breath work and then thursday we'll be working on awareness and then friday we will be working on the actual non-dualism consciousness and so when you are just sort of walking yourself through to this understanding just know that a lot of this stuff is not going to make sense if you are in <clears throat> if you are still in survival mode if you are still in fight or flight if you are still very much in in um do 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 and and wanting so all of that stuff has to be uh you know sort of released in by a way of again breath work so if you're finding that you are not able to relax your your mind your your conscious mind your nervous system your subconscious mind wait i said subconscious mind. <laughs> so your nervous system your emotional body and your subconscious mind you want to start here you want to start at doing your breath work so that you can shift into the version of self that already is all right 
And so I'm going to just, again, walk through all of the uh, the steps that I've taken, the steps that I would give my clients if they were working on this particular aspect of their, um, you know, of this particular phase or stage of their manifestation process. And this is, again, you know, sort of like a precursor to how I would work with you in the ESR, so the uh, Emotional Self-Regulation Accelerator. And if you wanted, if you were interested in the Emotional Self-Regulation um, accelerator, then this is definitely a challenge that you want to join as well. So I'll be joining tomorrow at, I believe, between 8.15 and 8.30 Eastern Standard Time in the morning. So every single morning from tomorrow to Friday, we are going to be talking about this emotional self-regulation, this non-dualism consciousness, and how you can sort of weave in the law of assumption principles so that you can have a well-rounded, well-balanced manifestation process from making sure that you are just from experiencing that relaxed mindset, right? From that re relaxed um, subconscious mind, emotional body, nervous system, so on and so forth. So I want you to, if you are going to be on board, let me know in the comment section if you're going to be on board. If you are on board, I want to hear the things that you are starting to materialize for yourself. This doesn't have to be specific or any in, in any ranking order. I would just want to see if you are really in tune with who it is that you want to experience and who it is that you want to be while you are going through this three-day challenge right so this three-day challenge is really something that you could use as an opportunity to tap more into your desires to tap more into the feeling states of those desires and tap more into the embodiment of those desires so if you have any questions related to um you know de clearly defining what your de your desire is of course you could flip me a dm or right here in the comment section you can you can sort of uh, just give yourself an umbrella quantum manifestation. Mine is freedom, right? So, and and when I say freedom, I mean freedom in all aspects, all areas of my life. So, it like whatever that desire is for you, you can make it as specific or general as you like. As long as, as long as the desire right now feels really good for you, and it's not uh, sort of triggering your emotional body and your nervous system, where you're you know you're feeling sweaty and you're feeling like all of these reasons as to why you cannot have this particular desire it's probably better to go to a desire that your nervous system is comfortable with so what i mean by that is that you have a desire let's say that you want to have 5k months and you want to have a consistent flow of income and you're normalizing that with your nervous system you are reminding yourself through a series of law of assumption laws right or beliefs right assumptions that mean that you get to experience 5k consistent flows of income on a monthly basis and you actually feel good about that your your nervous system is not triggered you are not asking yourself why like you could actually sit in this knowing that you get to receive this 5k month and if it's not or five 5k stream of income it doesn't have to necessarily be from a particular spot it could be from both known and unknown sources this is what what you want to start to normalize is the ongoing consistent flow of income that is coming to work you right so it really doesn't matter the dollar amount of course your conscious mind is going to think wow that dollar amount is very unattainable but you want to get to a space where you are receiving it anyways and if you do have to sort of work through your assumptions and your beliefs that is completely fair but i want you to between today and tomorrow get an idea of what desire you are wanting to embody so that throughout the rest of the week we are focused on that one thing and and it could be just it really could just be five ten k months so i'll just use that as an example uh for those of you who are wanting uh you know a romantic relationship this could go for romantic relationships this could, this could go for um physical health this could go for any specific area of your life and so you want you still want to get clear about it right so you want to if you want to bring into bring in a partner for instance you want to normalize being with this partner you want to normalize what it would feel like with this this partner and, and hopefully this partner is a healthy you know masculine partner of course if you're listening to me and you're a woman and you're you're identifying like most of your energy is is feminine energy identified and you want to bring in this masculine counterpart it's the same thing as materializing multiple streams of income right and consistent streams of income and so this is going to be, again, a desire that you look back on 
to remind yourself in your assumptions and your beliefs that you already have it, okay? So I cannot wait. This is going to be really exciting. <clears throat> Let me know if you are going to be joining because... <clears throat> I definitely want to follow up with you on your progress. This is not something that is included into my email list. Actually, I might I might go ahead and, and email my email list to let them know that this challenge is happening. Uh, nonetheless, if you are just tuning in for the first time and you are just interested in joining this this challenge, definitely let me know and I will make sure that you are on the list of, of follow-ups. Ideally, I do want this to be fun. I do want this to be, um, you know, more than just a learning experience i want this to be an internal experience i want this to be a uh you know just an internal uh you know life shifting and altering perhaps you know experience of course in the the direction that you obviously desire to 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 go into and and lean more into right and and want to experience more so I think that was what I wanted to share on this live. Thank you for those of you who are tuned in. If you are, again, tuning in via replay, let me know that you are are joining replay. And I think those were most of my notes. If you Again, if you are joining, let me know, either in the comment section or in the DM so that I can hold you accountable to, to not just being clear about what it is that you want to experience and your desire and being clear about that um again it could be general or specific as long as you have it you can start to tap into that instantaneously moment to moment and you are going to start to feel the shifts internally instantly regardless so on that note i hope you have a wonderful day and i'll see you tomorrow at 8:15 between 8 15 and 8 30 eastern standard time and that will be tomorrow morning so the challenge is starting tomorrow morning and i hope to see you there and yeah have a good one see ya